let's talk about the new season of The Runaways. Uh, we ended last season with a lot of twists, a lot of changes. What can you tell us about the new season? Um, that as big as season two was, I feel like season three is, is way bigger. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot going on. Uh, we end the season. We ended season two on a very big cliffhanger where half of us are separated. Some of us are unraveling a bit. First, I want to see how they're going to get everybody back together because we start the season with the runaways separated mm -hmm. and uh, in a lot of jeopardy. And what can you tell us? Nothing. No, I don't think. <laughs> Great. All right, moving on. From the beginning, it climbs up, kind of shocks you, explodes. Climbs up again, shocks you, explodes. It's a big season for all of us. There's a lot of sacrifices to be made, um, a lot of ups and downs, and, and no one... No one's safe this season, so it's the stakes are high. We can also confirm that the third season picks up very close to, if not immediately after the end of the second season. So that's sort of fun. I love when shows do that. So it's an exciting time. The Wilders are in trouble. Alex has gotten us into that trouble. I mean, I, maybe we got oh, ourselves. Whoa, in whoa, whoa! You're right. We got ourselves in trouble, and um, Alex made sure that we are paying for our sins. Whatever. <laughs> On one hand, it's always going to be tough for people that you've loved for so many years uh, and still love, honestly, to, to do something like that, to put them away forever, even though you know it may be right deep down. Um, things are always so much more complicated than they seem. And I think for him, although it's tough, I think he knows it's the right thing that he should have done. But we do sort of see a little bit of butting of heads in his own head, in his own mind. The Wilders do not uh, get off easy, you know. I mean, I, th I think we're just misunderstood. Um, the Wilders, you know, we don't we don't mean any harm. We're just trying to do the best sure, we can. Sure. And They're not actually criminals. No, criminals. Stop. <laughs> Let's talk about the new season of Runaways. <laughs> um, I want to know what it's like to have super strength. <laughs> My God, it, it's tiring. Just kidding. Um, it is uh, so much fun. I walk in every day on set and I honestly have like a moment where I just like stand in the corner and I'm like, oh my God, I have super strength. I actually believe it for a second. And then I see my stunt double doing like this huge thing that I'm not allowed to do. And I'm like, it's not real. I feel like Leslie has been through so much. Does she get a break? <laughs> oh man, I would say... She does not get a break for the first half of the season, and she gets maybe a little bit of a break, and then it's back to no break. So, yeah, it, it, I mean, the whole, the birth scene and that whole oh. situation was intense. <laughs> you know, I think for almost all the runaways, their parents kind of start to become alliances again, which is really cool to kind of rebuild these family units, especially with Leslie and Carolina. But yeah, I think we all at some point this season have to turn to our parents to help us get out of some situations. So we've gone from completely running away from them and thinking they're totally evil to kind of having to start trusting them again, which has been a nice change of dynamic. In real life, I've got kids who are in their early 20s. When they were, say, 13 years old, you have this thought of, I can't wait till you have kids. Then you'll know. Then you'll appreciate me. Season three is a little bit like that. I think, because the kids, they're not having their own kids, but they're out in the world and they're having to face the complexity of the world. And they are maybe finding out, hopefully finding out, <laughs> that life is more complicated and that to fix everything, you can't just kill your parents. What can you tell us about what's going on with uh, your character in Old Lace this season? Well, uh, at the end of season two, uh, I've, I've switched into pop-up protection mode and on the road, on the run, with Gert in tow and Old Lace locked up in the back of my Volvo, playing fish music. And I'm just trying to save my family because my lovely wife has been taken over by Jonah's magistrate. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're trying to get the heck out of Dodge. But we end up in, in, in a fantastic location. Stakes are really high. It all comes to a head. Uh, uh, Alien Stacy does show up oh, at some yeah. point. Was that a spoiler? Spoiler. Scratch that. I didn't say that. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Beat. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we're just getting started.